Well, this has been a busy day for KDKA First Alert meteorologist Ray Patlin. He was at Nevillewood Country Club this afternoon speaking with the Carnegie Collier Rotary Club. He talked about recent tornadoes and our area's tornado history. And tonight, he's back in the Weather Center preparing for another KDKA First Alert Weather Day. We knew where you were the whole time, Ray, thanks to your ankle monitor. So <laughs> what, are you, uh, what are you watching tonight? Uh, we are watching some rain moving in and even some thunderstorms. Now, uh, when you start seeing some national news, it's going to be coming when it comes to weather out of Texas. Some deadly storms down that way. That part of this system is staying down to the south. So that is not going to be an issue for us. But we have all this here, and there is some moisture that's streaming in, and this could lead to some pockets of heavier rain. So because of this and because of some of the heavy rain we've seen yesterday and the potential for this to train or see these heavy batches of rain passing over the same spot over and over, we have tomorrow as a first alert weather day for the potential of flooding. And you can see here, uh, we're going to late in the morning see that rain really overspread the area. And inside this bigger area of rain, there's going to be these pockets where you could have those downpours. And that's where we're likely going to find the issues if we do have any flooding. Even into the evening commute, we're going to have some leftover showers. Those start to, to die out a little bit for Friday night, but Saturday we see the next batch of rain lifting in here. So we get that secondary push of moisture for Saturday. Saturday starts off with these on and off showers, and then we'll start to dry up, I think, later in the day, or at least attempt to dry up later in the day. A, still a stray shower might try to linger into the evening, and then again on Sunday. Now, just for Friday into Saturday, uh, we're looking at the potential of over an inch of rain in some spots, and, and that's what's triggered our concern. Because we've had that heavy rain, Rain. Uh, even earlier today, we had over an inch uh, in, in uh, Monongalia County down south of Morgantown. So there have been those heavy bouts with rain. Now, once that wraps up and we start to dry it up later Saturday and Sunday, Yes, you can do some planning. Our low temperatures the next several days are looking to float in the 50s and 60s, way above freezing. So I think the plants are going to be okay. I even looked later into the month and then into the beginning of June, and all the indications are that our temperatures are going to be above 40 degrees. So it looks like we are safe to plant uh, when it comes down to it, because the, the two ways to do it are you wait till Mother's Day and hope you don't have to cover them up, or you wait till Memorial Day and you're usually pretty safe since we haven't had a frost that late. This weekend, Saturday, the showers, the stray shower Sunday. So if you are going to do that planning, Sunday is your best shot to do that. As for tonight, we have 59 degrees. Clouds will be increasing later on. Some patchy areas of fro uh, fog, not out of the question. And over the next seven, tomorrow's our first alert weather day. Saturday, we're going to have that rain. I think later in the day, it starts to break up. We'll probably even see some peaks of sunshine. We'll try to work the rest of that moisture out of there by Sunday, but we could have a stray shower left over. And then Monday, Tuesday, very warm in the low 80s, bright sunshine before another batch of storms Wednesday and Thursday.